On the rotator side, we've done all sorts of stuff. Most people probably don't realize that they've seen our product. Very commonly when people say, oh, I'm going on a trip to, you know, fill in the blank, I can say, oh, you should stop and see this sign. Get here early, get everything fired up, lights on, compressor on, you know, get the machines turned on. Our product is found in Times Square. It is found in Las Vegas. You will find our product around the world rotating and moving things, but you just never realized that it was Dynapack that was making that motion happen. If you're old enough to have ever seen a 76 ball at one of the old Union 76 gas stations that rotates, that was a Dynapack rotator that turned that. I kind of think it's a lot like what MLC CAD has done for us. You know, they sold us a product and they came in and stood behind it and supported us. Because we are a custom motion company, most people will knock on our door and be a little unsure if they're even coming to the right place. And what could, it could be anything from a trade show banner that they want to move to louvered panels in front of glass walls in front of a fancy conference center that they want to open and close for privacy to a bed that they want to rotate in a house to a TV popping out of a wall and going back to curtains that automatically open and close to chandeliers that they need to lower down into a big space for cleaning. These are all industries that we play in. And why do we play in these industries? Because everything I just described has a motor behind it that makes it move. Dynapack's always tried to be vertically integrated. So anything we can do in-house, we try and do in-house. For our gear cases for our rotators, we hop our own gears, we make our own worms, we assemble our own gear cases. All of that's done in-house. So we get castings made, we machine the castings ourselves. So on a rotator, I can basically go through and, and it's all made here. Most of the time, like every day, we're getting new stuff and we also have manual machines so that makes it even harder we've done a lot of stuff these gear cases we're doing now it's a new fixture new program all of that the new technology of probing that has been put on machines that can come in and probe a bore and find out oh that bore needs to be opened up on another half a thou or a thou or something like that is amazing to me I, you know i'm getting to be an old guy and so i'm used to old machines and so i know the young guys out there are going to la laugh at me and say well geez you know get up with the times. The old way was run the part, check what you could, you know, back at the machine, actually remove it from the machine, take it up to QC. The hard part is, is then you've already taken that out of your fixturing. The problem with that is once you take it out, you can't really put it back in and machine it if it's bad or out of spec. So the, the probing has allowed us to keep everything in the machine and if there's problems with it, we can just recut it. It's lowered the amount of waste that we produce. Full disclosure, still pretty new to the programming side of things, but with Mastercam and especially with the Simcoe, it's very intuitive, super easy to use. On this gear case we're doing now, we built an all new fixture, uh, you know, all new work holding, whole new program. And so the, the probing allows us to measure everything. And then with a couple of simple macros, you can actually check your, the real tight dimensions, those real tight tolerances. So it's been a huge help there. It saves a lot of time. So the basic thing is, is if you have an idea that you think requires a motor to move it, we are probably the people you want to talk to. You can come talk to us at no charge and we will spend 30 minutes with you on the phone, in person, on a video conference. We are a company that will stand behind what we produce. And by saying that, what I mean is on occasion we'll be in a big project and we'll sell something or we'll design it and send it out to the customer and realize, oh wow, that needs to be tweaked or that needs to be, you know, helped. We will stand behind that. And we have sent guys out to the field to um, help the customer make sure they get exactly what they want. I kind of think it's a lot like what MLC CAD has done for us. You know, they sold us a product and they came in and stood behind it and supported us. I believe that it's that support after the fact that speaks volumes about what a company really represents. We offer that support to make sure that the customer gets what they need in the end.